In this video, we're going to go from sketching out drum patterns to recording musical ideas using the unique note playing system Push has to offer. We're going to create a bass line, lay down some simple chords, and get a further understanding of the note mode. Let's create a MIDI track by pressing the Add Track button to create an instrument for our bass line. We can browse for instrument presets using the rotary encoders above the display and the buttons below the display to select instrument presets and load them by pressing the green button. Press the Browse button to exit Live's browser. Push automatically configures the pad grid so that each pad represents a note and is by default in the key of C major. The blue pads represent the root key and the white pads are all the other notes in the scale. Notes in this particular scale can be played across from left to right. But also, three notes in a row, and then move up to play the next three notes, and so on. By pressing the scale button, we can see we have more options for a large variety of different scales. In the scale mode, we can select the scale we wish to play, as well as select whether the pads are in key. In other words, all the pads correspond to the scale, and we can play the scale and chords all over the pads without hitting a wrong note. This function can be switched off so that pads that are lit up represent notes in the scale, and pads that are not lit up represent notes that are not part of the scale. In the case of C major, in this mode we have a more conventional layout like the black and white keys on a piano. You can press the octave down button to play lower notes, or the octave up button for higher notes. Now let's record some notes. Press the record button and start playing. Press the record button again to finish recording. Press the new button to capture a new musical idea. There's also the possibility to use the fixed length button and create a loop of a specific length for recording. Let's create a two bar loop and press record. Press the metronome button, use shift and the master volume encoder to adjust the metronome volume. Let's start to create a bass line. If this recording is not what you wanted, you can undo the recording process. You can also double the length of loops and duplicate them as mentioned in the first video, creating beats with push. Now let's create some chords to go with our drum pattern and bass line. Let's create another MIDI track by pressing the Add Track button, and this time browse for a pad sound, and load it. Using a three finger technique, it's easy to play chords. In the key of C, this chord is a major chord, and you can play other chords anywhere in the pad grid using this shape to create chords that are in the same key. Now let's record some chords. As before, press the record button and start playing. Press the record button again to finish recording. You can also use the fixed length recording method to create your loops. Now we've covered the basics of playing notes and chords using push. In the next video, we'll have a look at adding effects tweaking parameters, and mixing your ideas.